Hey gang, this is Tabitha with another Wednesday art snack for you. How did you like my fancy new opening? <laughs> I finally uh, started using my uh, video editing software. I found a minute or two to, <laughs> or maybe an hour or two to figure it out. Anyway, today I want to talk to you about wasting paint. Now, I am a believer that paint isn't really wasted. And what I mean by that is use what you need to use. Don't be skimpy with your paint. And very often, people do not pour out enough paint. They're, they're afraid of using the paint. Use the paint. But if you have extra paint left over at the end of your painting session, here's what you do. Grab another canvas and use it. This is how I save paint. I don't waste it. I put it all to use. So this canvas that you see here is a really old uh, landscape painting that I had started, I don't know how many years ago, maybe 10 years ago. And it's just been sitting in a corner someplace gathering dust. And so, uh, I pulled it out and it is now my extra paint canvas. So if you have been to one of my in-person classes, you may have uh, experienced the extra paint canvas or the palette smash canvas, we called it. Um, and that's where we took uh, our paper plates and smashed them on a canvas and class after class after class did that. And I've got some really cool abstract artwork from it. And in this case, this is oil paints that I'm using um, because that was an oil painting. And so you, you can't do acrylics over oils. So whenever I uh, finish an oil painting and I have extra paint, I just grab this canvas and I start scraping some paint on there. So when you do this, I'm going to advise you to do this with a palette knife. Don't take your brushes and do it because you're going to try and get too precious with them. Just scrape it on there with a palette knife. You can scoop up a whole dollop of paint and pull it across the canvas and you can just get some sort of an abstract painting started. Or you can do what I'm doing here, which is going over what I've got. So basically I'm changing this this painting by going over it with different colors, changing the colors up. And ultimately I'll change the composition too. Um, Whatever is happening in the middle ground and the foreground of this painting is what's not working. But for now, I'm just using what colors I've got and scraping them on and it feels really good to just work with the paint in this way. It's, it's fun to play with a palette knife and paint and it's nice not to waste your paint. It feels, feels really good to not throw away the paint. And if I were to do this with a brush, I might start feeling like I had to make the painting look like something. But here you can see I am not really putting any thought into this. Um, Okay, there's a little thought going into it, but not much. You know, like I didn't consider whether or not I should paint a tree blue. Why not paint a tree blue? This is art, not reality. So we'll see. That tree may not end up blue in, in the future. That tree might not even end up a tree. We don't know. This is going to be an evolving work in progress. Um... For who knows how long. So that's it. My advice to you is use that paint at the end of your painting session. Do it quickly Oops. and don't worry about what it looks like. All right, that's it. Happy painting!